Thanks for joining us. I'm Brianna Pitts with the WBZ News Update. Taking a look at our top story, shuttle buses are replacing service on part of the red line as crews work to make repairs at the Alewife station. The MBTA says a driver intentionally crashed into a concrete barrier on the top floor of the parking garage on Saturday. Alewife station and the garage are closed until further notice. Shuttle buses will pick up and drop off in the Alewife busway. Well, it is back to school in Woburn. The teacher's strike is now over. The union says contracts for paraprofessionals, teachers and nurses were all ratified last night after they spent all of last week on the picket line and at the bargaining table. Boston Medical Center's emergency room will be closed at least until tomorrow. The hospital says a pipe burst in their emergency department during the extreme cold Saturday night. Anyone seeking emergency care is being asked to go to another hospital and ambulances are being sent elsewhere. Inpatient and outpatient clinics at Boston Medical Center will continue to operate normally. And Let's get a check of our next weather forecast now with Zach Green. And good morning, Brianna. We do start the day with a few sprinkles out towards Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket, but otherwise generally smooth sailing this time around. Mid to upper 40s affected in the afternoon. We are going to turn the corner, though, with the wind direction and wind speeds. Relatively calm as of the morning hours, and then we're going to jump those up between 25 and 35 miles per hour for the afternoon. So while we are going to welcome in the above average temperatures, it will come at least with a blustery end of our day. And in the overnight hours, may see those numbers actually tally between about 35 and 40 miles per hour from Cape Ann down to Cape Cod as well as the islands. A little bit calmer for interior locations, but we will hold on to these wind speeds for coastal spots early Tuesday morning, lending ourselves to another round of wind chill. Nowhere near as drastic as what we had early on Saturday, but definitely winter jacket worthy to kick off Tuesday. Partly to mostly sunny skies, most of the daytime hours, and then we'll get another brush of rain as we go into the evening. This one may be introducing a few flakes at the onset as we get some of the colder air to interact with the moisture, but I do think that the green is going to win out, leading to damp pavement as we wake up on Wednesday morning. Wednesday afternoon, we're bright once again. We'll dry out that round, and then we'll have a reload scenario from Thursday night into early Friday. And this one seems to be a little more widespread, but it does wrap up right around sunrise on Friday. And with any luck in the afternoon, if we get enough sunshine, we may do enough to approach 60 degrees to wrap up our week. We get a yet another round of rain, Brianna, on tap for Saturday. At the end of this one, we may have some snow in the mix. We'll have to keep a close eye on that wintry potential for the upcoming weekend. All right, Zach, thank you. I'm Brianna Pitts. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.